The NHRA Mellow Yellow Series 2020 schedule, special NHRA races, and possible new venues. Let's discuss it next on Monday Morning Racer. Hello drag racing fan, Lee Craft here, Monday Morning Racer, and the NHRA recently dropped their 2020 Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series schedule. And frankly, there's not that much difference from the 2019 schedule to the 2020 schedule. We'll look at it, there's been some shifts in the schedule, there are anniversaries that are worth note. For example, Pro Stock will be having their 50th year of running. You have anniversaries to particular national events across the nation. Overall, it remains a 24-race schedule with the typical highlights. My questions for you, though, the drag racing fan, before we look at the overall schedule, is, one, what type of special exhibition races would you like the NHRA to run? And secondly, what old or new venue would you like to see on the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series Tour? For example, when I think of special races, I would love to see something like the Winston Invitational once again. At one time, Winston, when they were sponsoring drag racing and seemingly every other form of motorsports, there was the Winston Invitation where the top eight point finishers from the previous year of the pro classes were invited to qualify and race for a big money prize. Very similar to the all-star race of NASCAR fame, but it was for the drag racing world of NHRA. We don't have that currently. Coca-Cola, the people who produce Mellow Yellow, step up, provide us with a big money race such as the Winston Invitation was. Also, I would love to see again the type of race that the Winston Noble Showdown was. What race was that? Will you recall John Force winning a race over a top field dragster at Bristol Dragway? Yes, that was the Winston Noble Showdown where the top field cars and the funny cars raced one another. I don't know about you, I want to see that again. Not only would I like to see a Winston Invitational, type of race and a Winston Noble showdown type of race again, but we have come to recognize as drag racing fans, especially of the NHRA, that Nitro will not be running the quarter mile regularly anytime soon. So to kick off adding a venue or event to the regular series, but also as a special event, since we also have the two four wide races, in the central part of our nation, since the four wides cover the east and west coast, let's have one nitro quarter mile event. Find a track that has plenty of runoff, a great shutdown area, and the drivers are comfortable racing the quarter mile at that particular raceway and run the quarter mile once again with the nitro cars. I think that race would sell out and people would come across the nation, possibly even the globe, to see NHRA top fuel dragsters, NHRA funny cars run the quarter mile at least once a year. Now, considering some other venues though, I've recognized not too far from me, and it would cover a market gap, you have Toronto Motorsports Park in Cayuga, Canada. That would be a great place to have NHRA run at. They do have a NHRA sportsman meet there, and they do run the Canadian Nitro Nationals there at Toronto Motorsports Park. Uh, Dragzine, and I'll have this link in the description, they recently have showed that there is a new drag strip just about completed in Mexico. What about the NHRA running in Mexico at a brand new drag strip? There's a new market for you. Doug Herbert on MRN's Straight Line 
And by the way, if you are not listening to MRN Straight Line as a drag race fan, you need to. Ralph Shaheen and Doug Herbert host this podcast, and they always have great guests and bring up great topics around drag racing. Well, he mentioned why not run South Florida, somewhere down there. Yes, you have Gainesville, run it early in the year, but that's really northern Florida and the Panhandle and possibly even central Florida. But get down there into the Miami Homestead type of market later in the year. Possibly we could run again at Baton Rouge. Where do you think the NHRA could run as a venue, a new venue, or bring back an old venue that you would like to see? So, in the comments below, let me know what type of special races you would like to see the NHRA run, and let me know what new venue or what old venue would you like to see the NHRA run. Now, let's dive into the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series 2020 schedule itself. The schedule kicks off, as always, at the Winter Nationals in Pomona, California. That is the Lucas Oil NHRA Winter Nationals, and that will fall February 6th through the 9th. And, of note, this will be the 60th running of the Winter Nationals at Historic Auto Club Raceway in Pomona, California. With this event, it also kicks off the 50th year of Pro Stock Eliminator running, and NHRA plans on having special historical markers throughout the year concerning Pro Stock. Onward after Pomona, February 21st through the 23rd, it is the Magic Dry Organic Absorbent NHRA Arizona Nationals in Phoenix. We move then to the Gator Nationals, March 12th through the 15th. In particular, the Amelie Motor Oil NHRA Gator Nationals in Gainesville, Florida. Then it's on to the Denso Spark Plugs NHRA Four Wide Nationals, the first Four Wide Nationals of the year in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's April 3rd through the 5th. Then we go to the great state of Texas, April 17th through 19th for the Mopar Express Lane NHRA Spring Nationals. The next event up is the N. GK Spark Plugs NHRA Four Wide Nationals in Charlotte, North Carolina. That will be the final four wide event for the year. That falls April 24th through the 22nd. Then we're on to one of my favorite events, one that I have attended the most. That is the NHRA Southern Nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. In particular, it's Commerce, Georgia. But it will be the 40th running of this event. 40 years in Commerce, Georgia for the... Then we come to our first shift in the calendar. This particular date of the Virginia Nationals in Richmond, Virginia, it is being moved slightly, not far away from its 2019 established time, but nonetheless a slight shift for the Virginia NHRA Nationals on May 29th through the 31st. We move on June 12th through the 14th, the Menards NHRA Heartland Nationals Topeka, Kansas at Heartland Motorsports Park. June 19th through the 21st, the 20th year at the NHRA Thunder Valley Nationals in Bristol, Tennessee. After the Thunder Valley Nationals, it is the Summit Racing Equipment NHRA Nationals in Norwalk, Ohio. That falls on June 25th through the 28th. July 9th through the 12th, we find another shifted event. It's the Route 66 NHRA Nationals. It somewhat takes the spot of the current 2019 date of the New England Nationals, though the New England Nationals is being run on the weekend closest to the 4th of July. After the Route 66 NHRA Nationals, July 17th through the 19th, it is the Dodge Mile High NHRA Nationals in Denver, Colorado. Onward then to the Sonoma Nationals, July 24th through the 26th. July 31st through August 2nd, the Magic Dry Organic Absorbent NHRA Northwest Nationals in Seattle. August 13th through the 16th, it is the Lucas Oil NHRA Nationals in Brainerd, Minnesota. 
August 21st through the 23rd. Again, another shifted event. We find the NHRA New England Nationals in Epping, New Hampshire. And then rounding out the regular season, it is the biggest drag race of the after the U.S. Nationals. It is on into the NHRA Mellow Yellow Countdown to the championship playoffs. And that begins September 17th through the 20th at the Mopar Express Lane NHRA Nationals in Reading, Pennsylvania. We then come to the NHRA Carolina Nationals, another shifted event within the 2020 schedule. That falls on September 25th through the 27th. October 2nd through the 4th is the AAA Insurance NHRA Midwest Nationals in St. Louis. After that event, still in October, it is October 15th through the 18th with the AAA Texas NHRA Fall Nationals in Dallas, technically Enos, Texas. After that event, we come to another anniversary, the Dodge NHRA Nationals Las Vegas. With that configuration, the two-wide configuration ran October 29th through November 1st, and then on November 12th through the 15th, it is the Auto Club NHRA Finals in Pomona, California, crowning champions of the top level there at that particular race. Again, not that many changes or shakeups within the 2020 NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series schedule, but we do have anniversaries to look forward to and celebrate in the world of NHRA drag racing. Again, let me know about special events and other venues in the comments section below. Please hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the Monday Morning Racer, and the videos that will be linked on the end card deal with my interviews with pro drivers at the NHRA Southern Nationals this year of 2019, my video on will NHRA Pro Stock survive, and lastly but certainly not least, if you have any memories from Englishtown, New Jersey, please click the video about Englishtown and it being demolished. I would love to hear your stories on that comment section of what Englishtown meant to you. Until next time, Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.